today is special because I'm going to be talking about someone who is special to all of us, to believers. I want to talk about Abu al-Fadl Abbas, the brother of Imam Hussein. Hazrat Abbas is unique in the view of infallibles, which is the view of Allah. Abbas in the meaning of a strong lion, a ferocious lion, a lion with an aura, truly a king amongst king, and hence Ali named him that. He, when Abbas was born, Imam Ali held him and the first thing he did was to kiss the hand of Abbas. He was brought up in this aura, in this amazing aura that surrounded him. But he grew up knowing, knowing that this is not his house. This house is Hussein's house. And I am a part of it. Abbas, his features were also unique because he was extremely handsome with, a, with features that are pleasing to the eyes. Qamara Bani Hashim, the moon of Bani Hashim. This term is used for the individual in the tribe who has the most amazing looks and stature. He separated himself from others from the fact, because of the fact that he was, more than anything else, he was an alim. He was a scholar. He was a scholar. It wasn't that Abbas was just you know, a fighter or a warrior. No, before everything else, Abbas was a scholar. Imam Ali was his teacher. Imagine having a teacher like that until you're 14, until you get to high school. And then after Imam Ali Shahadat, Imam Hassan became his teacher for the next 10 years until he was 24. Until he became a man. And then after that, Imam Hussein became his teacher and mentor and leader until his shahadat when he was 34. Imam Ali says in his hadith, Abbas was a student unlike any other student for the Imams. I mean, for the Imams, they look for such people. Abbas was the greatest students that the Imams had. And that's why Abbas held that flag, because he was capable, he knew it.